Imagine launching your very own cryptocurrency in less time than it takes to make a cup of coffee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own coin on the Polygon blockchain, and it only takes five minutes. No coding, no experience, just a laptop and an internet connection. Let's go. All right, you need a couple things to get started. The first one is a MetaMask wallet. If you don't already have one, simply Google search MetaMask Chrome extension. That'll get you to this site here. Mine says remove because it's already installed. It'll likely say install MetaMask extension for you. Get that installed. Once it's done, click on the little Fox Chrome extension and that'll launch MetaMask wallet. Now I already have a wallet set up with money in it. You probably don't. So you're gonna wanna click on create new wallet. Follow the prompts for that. You can use either a Google account, an Apple account, or simply create a password. If you use a password, obviously back it up, store it somewhere secure, don't lose it, and don't share it. Also, following that step, I highly recommend you backing up your wallet. They'll also prompt you for that as an optional next step. Definitely do it. They'll give you a 12-word recovery phrase. Store that securely, don't share it, and don't lose it. If you ever lost your password or some reason you can't access the wallet, you can always restore the wallet using the recovery phrase, and that'll give you access back into the wallet and any cryptocurrency that's in it. All right, so now that you have the wallet set up, next thing you wanna do is go to tokens right here and then drop down enabled networks and make sure Polygon is checked. We're using the Polygon blockchain because the gas fees are so much lower than Ethereum. Okay, so now that you have all that set up, go to buy sell and this will launch the MetaMask website. Once this opens up, we're gonna to go to connect wallet. That'll launch our extension again and then just hit connect. If you don't see this on the screen right away, don't panic, go to dashboard, buy, and then buy from MetaMask. Now you can use as little as $5 here and make sure you have the right coin selected that you wanna buy. So all networks, drop that down, make sure you're choosing the Polygon network so you have the right Polygon token and you're gonna want POL on the Polygon ecosystem token. Now, the first time I did this, I bought Polygon or a Polygon token from the Ethereum network. That's not gonna work for this. So make sure you are buying Polygon POL, which is Polygon ecosystem token, and it's on the Polygon main net, very important. And again, you can buy as little as $5. So go ahead and do that. There's different options to buy with. You can use Venmo, credit card, debit card, PayPal, do a bank transfer, pick your poison there, get your $5 in POL. Again, make sure that's on the Polygon main net and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so after that, I want you to go to the link that I put in the description for Open Zeppelin. And this is what you'll see when you get to Open Zeppelin. Just scroll down a little bit here and you'll see this. So by default, it's gonna say something like this, my token, and I think this is called token or something like that as the symbol ticker, and this will be zeroed out. So that's probably what you'll see when you get on there. Now we can give it any name we want. Let's say we want to create a uh, fishing token. So we can call this fishing token. Maybe we like to go fishing. And then we can call the symbol fish. So when it's listed on exchange, you'll see it as F-I-S-H, just like Bitcoin's BTC. And then how many do you want to create? We're going to say 1 million. Now there's some options here. I'm going to leave mine to the default. Just know that um, you can set some of these if you want, and then it'll give you the code when you create, so that when you create it, it has these options enabled or disabled. We won't go through them all, but mineable, I'm sorry, mintable means you could print more later. I'm not really a fan of that. I like the finite approach. You can enable burning where they can burn it. And again, there's other options here. So I'm gonna leave mine default. And then what we're gonna do is just click open in Remix. And this will launch Remix IDE which is what we're gonna to use to actually get this on chain. All right, so that launches the Remix IDE and automatically puts in the code from Open Zeppelin. Now we're almost ready to go. We're gonna hit compile here. That's done. We're gonna go over here to deploy and run transactions. And then we're gonna change the environment to injector provided MetaMask. So that's gonna link it to our wallet. Now we see right here, it says Polygon mainnet. If that says Ethereum, that means you need to go back to your wallet and make sure that you're using Polygon. 
All right, so we can go ahead and put in our MetaMask wallet, I, or I'm sorry, address here, and then hit deploy. We're gonna have to do this twice, and I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, one thing to note as well is the Solidity version here needs to be .24 for Polygon, 27 would be if we're doing it on Ethereum. So I'm gonna open up my MetaMask wallet, and I'm gonna copy the address right here at the top. So just hit that little copy. And then I'm going to put this into the deploy and I'm going to hit deploy. And this is going to tell me basically you need to change the environment because you're trying to do this on Polygon. So I'm going to say, yeah, switch the environment and compile it again. So that should compile it again. Now all we need to do is come back here and put in our MetaMask wallet address again and just deploy it one more time. Now this is a little log down here and it's going to bring up the wallet. So we have to confirm. And basically what this says is, hey, there's a network fee or a gas fee of 0 0.05 POL, which is the equivalent of one penny. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'll confirm it. Give this a second. You can actually bring this up a bit. Once that's done, we can drop down this little carrot here and we'll have some information. Most important part of this for us anyway is going to be the contract address. So copy that contract address. You have officially created the cryptocurrency, by the way. So you now have a million tokens of fish coin in our case. Copy the contract address, open your MetaMask wallet. And next thing you're gonna do is go to tokens. And then you're going to import tokens. And then you're gonna do a custom token, select the network, Polygon, Type in that contract address, better yet, paste it, hit next, import, and you're done. So now your wallet contains a million fish tokens in this case. Again, you name it whatever you want. I'm sure you come up with a cooler name than fish. Okay, so you're done. You have a million fish tokens. You can send them to your friends, whatever you want to do, but they're not worth anything. So how do we make them worth actual money? Well, we have to create what they call a liquidity pool. So in order to do that, we're going to go over to QuickSwap, which is the main exchange or DEX for the Polygon network. So I'm going to open up the QuickSwap exchange. And once that loads up, you're going to connect your wallet. If it's not connected here, you should have an option to connect your wallet. It looks like mine automatically connected. So next thing we have to do is create a pool. So click on pool and then select token. And you're going to select your token from your wallet. So say in wallet, you're going to type in the contract address here. So in wallet and then type in the contract address. You should still have it on your clipboard. And that'll bring up fish, click on fish. So now the first part of this pair is fish. So you're creating a, a coin pair or a token pair, and that's gonna create a pool. So you wanna pair fish with Polygon. So now we can just go to Polygon and you should have at least five bucks worth of Polygon, probably $4.99 by now since you spent a penny on gas. Okay, so now you have this pair and you're gonna go manual. Now, once you say manual, you should be able to say one fish equals, I'm just gonna do 0 0.001. So that means a thousand fish will equal one pole or one fish equals one thousandth of a POL. Confirm that. I'm going to set this to full. You can read this if you want. I just go with full. And the next thing you have to do is say how many of your 1 million fish do you want to add to the liquidity pool? I'm just going to do 1,000. And I'll do approve fish. And that'll bring up our wallet and we have to accept. All right, that's done. So we have paired 1,000 fish to one pole. We're gonna go ahead and confirm this. We'll have to do another confirm within our MetaMask wallet. And you can see the network fee here this time is six cents. And we're gonna send it 1,000 fish and one pole. All right, if you want, you can view the transaction. It's already done, but this will show you the information here. And it's successful. So we can close that and we see that this liquidity has been added successfully. Close that and that's it. 
So now you have created a liquidity pool on QuickSwap for your new token. All right, so now all your friends have heard about your coin and they want to know how they can buy it. Send them over to QuickSwap, tell them to click on Swap, and then give them your contract address. So this is, you're going to trade one coin for another. So maybe they bought some POL and they want to acquire some of your new crypto. Click on that, give them the contract address, and that'll bring up your new custom coin. All right, so now they are ready to swap. So let's just say maybe they have 0 0.5 POL. They can swap that for 333 fish coins. Pretty sweet. Now maybe you want to do the opposite and sell some fish coins and get some pol back you can just click this arrow and that should reverse the equation now they can get maybe they're going to sell a thousand fish coins to get 0 0.5 pol so that's it congratulations you have created your own erc20 cryptocurrency on the polygon blockchain created a liquidity pool for it and you're able to buy sell and trade that brand new cryptocurrency I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you followed along and created your own cryptocurrency because, hey, it's 2025. Everyone should have their own coin. Let me know what you thought. If you found this to be useful or got any entertainment or value out of it, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell because I got a lot more good content coming and drop me a comment down below. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next video, take care.